Okay, today we're going to uh, discuss on how to connect or how to install an SEW uh, inverters to your Siemens project. So I will, mm -hmm. so we have here an example of what we are going to connect. So I have here a master uh, UFP module that will be connected to our drives. So the drives will be the So I have here four drives the movie truck drives and one master UFP. So what's the purpose of this UFP? So the UFP will be the one whom receive all the data from your drives. So it you cannot connect directly to this drive going to your PLC. So I will show you a topography on how it will be connected. So just I'll say you have one, two, three, four to seven drives. So the seven drives should be connected to your master. So this is the master uh, module for your drives. So you cannot so you cannot directly connect the drives to your PLC. So it will not work. So you need first to use your master module. So the master module will be assigned a Profibus number. So when you open this cover, then you can see. So I will show you a PDF uh, that you can be downloaded via internet. So here. So the here will be you will assign the Profibus number. And also each of these drive also have a Profibus number. So now let's go on. So I have here already UFP. So first things to do is to create a project. So I will not be needed to uh, show you how to create this since I already have video for this and I will just uh, paste it down below. So I am using uh, TIA version 16. So in your project, just go to device configuration. So after that, you can see here your PLC. Go to network view. So in the network view, uh, as I mentioned before, you cannot directly put the SEW drives here. So as you can see, there is no SEW here. So how to do that? So you need to install the GSD file. So the GSD file is now can be downloaded for free uh, online. So just go to their website, the SEW. So here in the SEW, you can find here all the data that you are going to uh, download. So for example, I will be needed a GSD file. So I'll just find here the UFP. So you, as you can see, you can find here all the uh, GSD file. So for example, you're not using the DFP, uh, the UFP, then you are using the DFP, then you need to download this. So since I'm using the UFP as an example, I will download the UFP. So I need to uh, just click find then it will directly show you what you're uh, going to download. So just click the download. Okay, so I already have here one. So I will just save it just for you to see. So here, i show in folder. So when I open this, the GSD file is inside the uh, RAR files. So in the zip, you can unzip this. So since already I already unzipped this, so I have here the extracted files. So all I have to do is to locate this on our uh, project. So how to do that? So just go back to your project, go to option, go to manage general station, click this, locate the folder where, where it was being extracted. 
since I extracted in the download then I will just click the downloads then select folder so as you can see we have the two uh, SEW GSD files so I will just download all then install I mean install so all we have to do is just to wait uh, for it to finish okay now it was successfully installed so just click close then our project will refresh okay so let's go back to our device configuration so in the device configuration go to network view here and then locate the saw that uh, we've been installed so how to find that you just go to other field devices since that is profibus then we will click the profibus then the drive so as you can see we seen already the uh, sew here the sew euro drive so click the subfolders uh, since we are using the DPV DPV so how, how I know it's DPV it is by looking the manual here DPV okay let's go back so click here then just drag the UFP to your network view so okay you have here the not assigned profit bus so i'm going to connect this here so when you click this so you can see here what the profit bus address that was been assigned automatically so it was been assigned to number two so all you have to do is to change also the UFP Profibus address. So like what I said, here will be the deep switches that you can change. Okay, well, going back, so we are not yet finished because uh, this is only a mere uh, UFP module. So the drives here is not yet included. So shall I say I will be connecting e seven drives. So seven drives. Uh, just click this. So just select 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 the AS seven drives. So I will use the three words. Seven by three words. I will double click. Then it, it automatically assign the seven drives. So each drives have its corresponded address, which we will be going to use uh, during the uh, controlling the drives. For example, starting the drives, uh, assigning a velocity, uh, assigning a set point speed stopping the drives because we will not be going to put any wirings connection on your drives so we can only see here the signal for the profit bus the input voltage and your output voltage for your motors so far i will go into uh, teach you the control words and the status words on how to uh, how to control it in the next tutorials or in our next video so stay tuned and uh, wait for me to download the procedures on how to control and how to get the status of your sew drives so thank you and don't forget to subscribe.